My name is Dave Johansson, and I'm here at Lawson Hill Crafts. We're going to do a short demonstration here on how to use the horizontal slab roller. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself some clay. And notice that I don't have a big chunk of clay. I've kind of uh, flattened the clay out, so maybe, you know, it's an inch and a half thick or something like that. You don't want to have like a great big log or brick of clay. The other thing that you're going to need is two pieces of canvas. Um, our canvases have light clay written on one side and dark clay written on the other. Uh, the clay I'm using is a darker clay, so I'm going to use the dark side of the canvas. But before we start rolling clay through the slab roller, I'm going to have to adjust the distance between the two rolling pins. And I know you can't see them well, but there are two rolling pins on the machine right here. And there's a knob at the back of the machine and a knob at the front of the machine. And those knobs adjust the distance between the two rollers. And there's a scale on the side that tells you how far they're apart. Now you have to adjust the two sides independently. Whenever we uh, roll a slab through the horizontal slab roller, we're going to do it three times. So the first time, I'm going to set the pins at three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to come and turn my knob until I get to three quarters of an inch. And you can't see the indicator on the video, but it's, uh, it's fairly self-explanatory if you look at it. There's a plastic um, line indicator that you just line up with the number. Now notice how I'm going back and forth and turning the two sides independently. I don't want to get them too far out of adjustment from each other. So here we go. I'm set at 3 quarters of an inch. And I'm set at 3 quarters of an inch. Now I'm going to separate my two pieces of canvas. I'm going to take my piece of clay. I'm going to set it down between the two pieces of canvas. I'm going to push the clay between the two pieces of canvas up to the rollers, and I am going to roll the clay through. So I now have a slab of clay that is a uniform three quarters of an inch. So every time I roll the clay through, I want to pick it up off the canvas and turn it a quarter of a turn. The reason I'm doing this is so I can get a uniform shape, but also the clay has water in it and I don't want it to stick to the canvas. So now that I've done that, I'm going to close the canvas back and I'm going to lower the distance between the two pins to a half of an inch. So again, I'm going to come over to my adjustment knob. I'm going to roll it down to a half of an inch. And there we go. And now I'm going to bring the clay back through the two pins. And I'm going to flip my canvas up. I'm going to pick my clay up which is now a uniform half of an inch. So if you want to work with a half inch slab, you'd be done. When you first begin to work with slabs, I suggest that you work with a slab that's about a quarter of an inch. If you get thinner than a quarter of an inch as a beginner, you're going to run into all kinds of troubles. So let your skills develop before you try to go thinner than a quarter of an inch. I'm going to bring my canvas back over. Now this canvas has thickness. So if I set this indicator to a quarter of an inch, I would be under a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to go just a little, in fact, I'm going to go one notch over a quarter of an inch on my scale here. So making another adjustment, I'm down, and there we go, push the clay up to the roller, and through we go. Just like that. And now I have a slab of clay that is a good working thickness. Hi, I'm Dave Johansson, and this is Blossom Hill Crafts.